Hey, what's going on? This is Tim Warner from CBT Nuggets here. Welcome to this micro nugget entitled Microsoft Word 2010 Templates. A template is a collection of settings that enables easy reuse in a Microsoft Word document. Actually, templates exist for just about any Office productivity application. Certainly, that's the case in the Office 2010 suite. In this nugget, we're going to cover the basics of templates in Word. You'll see if we go backstage, which means that we've started Microsoft Word and we've clicked the File tab. This takes us to the backstage area, as it's called, where we can get to recent documents, we can open documents, directly from the file system. We can set application options. We can quit the application. But what we want is to come down to new. And this brings us to our document chooser. Your documents in Word are always, and I stress always, based on a template. That template controls things like the styles that are contained in that file. View settings, whether you open to print layout view or draft view. And if so, at what level of magnification? Do you have the ruler turned on or off? You see, what macros if any, are attached to that template. Does the template include boilerplate header and footer information, a company logo, page numbering, etc.? All of this stuff gets stored in a template. And the cool thing about templates is that they're reusable. That is, we can build documents off the template and pick up all of the settings from the original, but we don't have to scratch out any data. What I've seen people do over the years who don't understand templates is they might create in Word, say, an invoice form, and they might have spent a lot of time I'm creating that. But then whenever they need a new invoice, what do they do? They open up the last one they've actually used, done a save as, and just had to scratch out all of their previously entered information. That doesn't work well. That's not productive. Instead, we want to use templates for that. So first, let's take a look at the templates that are given to us in Word 2010. You'll see under available templates, these are the ones that are built into the application. All right. Now you note here, the blank document is the most common, I would say. This uses is a template called normal.x. And yes, Microsoft lets you customize that template itself if you want to change global defaults. That's beyond the scope of this micro nugget, but let me know if you'd like teaching on it because I'd be happy to train you on that. Blog posts, sample templates, let me double, clef, double left click sample templates. And you see here we get a breadcrumb navigation that shows us those templates. We see a nice preview over at right. And then when we click create, before we do, notice that we can open a document off the template or we can open up the template itself that will affect all future documents created off of the template. I'm going to choose document here and I hope you're going to immediately see how this helps us save time. Notice how it includes boilerplate text that we can just overwrite. We can plug in a story title, subtitle. All of the stuff is pre-formatted for us. Let's go over to view print layout and that'll show us what the document will look like when it's printed. This is some pretty robust formatting. You've got columns, you've got these call out boxes. This is very professional indeed and I hope you can immediately see that this will save you a lot of work if, for instance, you're tasked at work with building a newsletter. Let's come back to File New, and down below under your local templates that exist only on your computer, you have Office.com templates. Assuming that Word is connected to the internet, you can download any of these for free. These are placeholders. You can also do a type, do a typed search that hits Office.com. Chances are, though, you'll find what you want in these categories. Let's just say for grins, we were revising our resume, so we can do a search for resume based templates and we get a bunch of returns coming back from the office website. You'll notice that in addition to the preview, it tells you who created that template. It's not always Microsoft, although these templates are always approved by Microsoft before they're made available on the office site. Community can rate them so you can look for more popular templates and then you have a download button. Again, assuming you are connected to the internet, you can download that file. Some have additional functionality. This template gives us a custom ribbon tab. This is obviously from Monster.com, the job search site. It's to help you build a resume that's optimized for use at Monster.com. Okay, let's come back to File New one more time. Just to go into these categories here, certificates, you can just drill through. There's thousands and thousands of these templates that are available for free download. It's just crazy. I have found in my work as a contractor, if I need to build an invoice, I rarely, if ever, need to do that from scratch. All I have to do is find a template to start with and then modify it when I'm done. Let me show you. Let me just build a blank document here from the normal.x template and I'm just going to put in some dummy text here 
and I'm going to set this off in a different color and bold it. I know this isn't very exciting looking. I'm going to first save a regular copy of the file. I'll call this my template, but note that I'm going to save it as a standard docx file. That'll be my base. If I want to save this guy as a template, I can do a save as, change the file type, let me open this up, to Word template, click save, and as long as Word knows where your templates are located, it can find them. If I come back to File New and go into My Templates, I'm not seeing it in this list here, am I? So let me close this micro nugget by going back into File, down to Options, and let me show you where we store custom template locations. In Word Options, select Advanced from the Primary Navigation, come to the very bottom under general and select file locations. Here we can customize the path for user templates, which I'll do right now, and set it to my documents. Now that I've done that, I can OK and OK. And now from the backstage view, my templates, I can see my template in the list. So there you have it, a little bit on using templates in Word 2010. I hope that this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.